Royal Princess, Piano Cruises' splendid new cruise liner, sailed into the port of Southampton for the first time on the 5th of November for a golden sunrise. She had just been delivered to Piano in Finland, one day ahead of schedule. She was built there by the Vetsila shipyard at a cost of 150 million US dollars. The 45,000 ton Royal Princess is the most technically advanced cruise ship afloat. She has many new features to make life even more luxurious for her passengers and the most up-to-date maritime equipment to assist the captain and his crew. Every one of her 600 cabins has an outside picture window, the first time this has ever been achieved on a ship of this size, and 150 of these have private bathrooms. Every cabin has its own private bathroom, a five-channel television set, a refrigerator, and its own environmental control. A promenade deck encircles the ship, four times round, and you've done just over a mile. There are four swimming pools, two freshwater whirlpools, and a fully equipped gymnasium and health center. In the impressive continental dining room, a team of Italian chefs and waiters with experience in some of the best hotels in Europe and America produce exquisite meals for the 1,200 passengers on board. There is a show lounge, where lavish Broadway-style shows are staged each night. An elegant nightclub, a theater, a casino, a bridge lounge, a library, beauty salon, and an observation lounge with a spectacular view of the passing world. That's for the passengers. From the bridge to the engine room, the captain also has the best equipment that modern science knows. As fire tugs welcomed her, Royal Princess continued her stately approach to the quayside. Making a graceful turn inside the harbor, she slowly maneuvered into position. With the help of the busy tugs, she used her way forward to approach the berth. Here she was to spend the next two weeks, bringing on board supplies, ready for her maiden voyage and adding the last minute touches before her naming on the 15th of November by the Princess of Wales. On the great day, all eyes are on the two special trains bringing the Princess of Wales and the President of Finland, Dr. Koi Vistel. First to arrive was the President of Finland. He is introduced by the Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire, Lieutenant Colonel Sir James Scott, to the waiting dignitaries from the County of Hampshire and the City of Southampton. Next comes the royal train bringing Princess Diana.
The princess was presented with a bouquet by assistant purser Sally Children, the youngest member of the ship's company. Sally served during the Falklands campaign on Canberra, a ship with which p also made a design breakthrough in 1961. and then through the waiting crowds to the real business of the day, to meet the president of Finland. The chairman of P&O Cruises, Rodney Leach, and Mrs. Leach. P&O Cruises managing director, Alan Langley, and Mrs. Langley. The princess mounts the podium where the Bishop of Southampton will bless the ship. greatly honored by your presence here today, and it gives me immense pleasure to ask you to name this ship. I name this ship Royal Princess. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Let's have three cheers for Her Royal Highness and the Royal Princess. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! The princess, accompanied by p Group Chairman Geoffrey Sterling, is piped on board. Followed by the President of Finland and Dr. Rodney Leach. On board, Captain John Young takes the princess on a guided tour of his ship. The swimming pool, one of the largest afloat, set in a tiled area beautifully finished in teak wood.
onto the Lido pools, the perfect setting for gentle days in the Caribbean. And then finally to the bridge, the nerve center of the ship. chat with the deck officers and also a look at the control panel. A royal toot on the ship's whistle. But once is never enough. After a celebration lunch on board, the guests gathered in the plaza for presentations to the princess. PO Chairman Jeffrey Sterling opens the proceedings. Your Royal Highness, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the President of the Finnish Republic. Gentlemen, we are here today to witness an occasion that also we Finns take particular pride in. We have been assembled here not to attend the naming ceremony of just another chief, but a vessel that bears the marks of the long standing economic cooperation between our countries. I wish her all success on seven seas. the Vesela Company are proud and most grateful to Your Royal Highness that you consented to perform the traditional ceremony of naming this new ship. And may I, as a token of our profound appreciation and gratitude to you, as godmother of the Royal Princess, present to you this gift, which is another Finnish product designed by a young Finnish artist and made of finished gold and finished stones. The chairman of the Vetsilla Group presents the princess with a gift from the Helsinki shipyard. Excellencies, Madam Mayor, my lords, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Captain Young, his ship's company, and all of us within PO, may I extend our thanks to you, Your Royal Highness, for joining us as lady sponsor of Royal Princess. She is a fine ship proud representative of our nation's great trading and maritime tradition. Royal Princess is an excellent example of international cooperation and will be an important contributor to 
for our country's trading income. I wish to pay the highest tribute to Vatsila and in doing so, draw attention to the many hundreds of men and women in that company and our own company whose personal effort has created this ship and will see her successfully into service. We are all delighted and honored, Your Royal Highness, that you're able to be with us today as she formally joins the p &O fleet. I hope you will accept this memento of the occasion together with our best wishes. As you will see, Your Royal Highness, it is a replica of our centerpiece in front of you. to me today. I have been showered with beautiful presents by the chairman of Bartzilla, by Mr. Sterling, and by the ship's company, and I am enormously grateful. I only hope that all the passengers who travel in this ship are equally as lucky. <laughs> but, but even if they aren't, I am sure they will all feel they've enjoyed a unique experience once they have been on a cruise in this remarkable ship. From now on, I shall have a special interest in wherever Royal Princess sails, and I am sure she will prove to be a great asset to p &O and to Great Britain. I wish all those who sail in her, particularly her ship's company, the very best of good fortune in the future. The princess signs the visitor's book, and the day is nearly over. princess is ready to sail away on her maiden voyage, bound first for Miami and then through the Panama Canal to Los Angeles, there to be welcomed as the flagship of the Princess Cruises fleet. From Los Angeles she cruises to a host of glamorous destinations along the Mexican Riviera, among the islands of the Caribbean and to the majestic coasts of Canada and Alaska.